Kara with iStampin.com. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel today. Today I am going to be um, making a video upon request by one of my viewers about the Big Shot. Um, so I just wanted to just highlight um, some things about this tool, especially if you are in the market for a die cutting machine and you are trying to choose between um, between a digital e-cutter, for example, like a Silhouette or the new Cricut or an Eclipse, um, or if you are looking at manual die cutters like the Big Shot, um, the Cuddlebug, um, the Grand Caliber, I think is the other one, and then um, Tim Holtz has one. Oh, the Vagabond. So those are kind of the ones that I know that are on the market that are, you know, can, you know, that are of good quality, and, and you know, they're all, you know, competition and whatnot. But just some of the features about um, die cut machines is, I, in my opinion, I don't think you're going to find a die cut machine that meets all your needs. Um, since I've been doing crafting, uh, I have seen that there are advantages to having a manual die cut machine and there are advantages to having a electronic die cutting machine. Personally, I do use my manual die cut machine a lot more than my e-cutter, but it is nice to have. So if you're kind of looking for one that's going to suit all your needs, um, I don't know if there's one out on the market. I would say that you probably would want to start with the manual die cutter just because it's more economical. The learning curve is quite simple. Um, but anyway, that, that's just my two cents. Okay, so here is the Big Shot. Um, it is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a heavy machine. It's very solid. It's very sturdy. I started out with the cuddle bug and I moved to the Big Shot because um, I just think it's just a, a higher quality machine. Um, so if I was looking at between a cuddle bug and the Big Shot, I would I would recommend um, the Big Shot. Now the type of dies that you can use in the um, Big Shot are the framelits that we carry at Stampin' Up. So uh, it's going to be these thin metal frames that um, have the little cutting groove edge, and I'll show you how this works in just a minute, as well as the steel ruled dies. So this is, um, with the steel ruled die, you can actually cut multiple sheets of paper at the same time. Um, I'm I've never cut fabric, but I'm pretty sure that you can cut a couple of layers of fabric as well. And with the steel rule die, all you need is just your paper, obviously, and your two cutting plates. So these are the cutting plates that come with the Big Shot. And so you just stick, so what you would do is you have this, um, hold on one just is that big enough? There we go. You have this, you place your paper on there and then you just feed it through the machine. And this is probably gonna shake a lot, so I apologize. And so this is what it comes out. And my paper was, wasn't was quite big enough, so those edges are cut off. So this is the die, um, this is the top note die from Stampin' Up! It's a really popular die. It's nice because um, you know, you can use it as a background. You can use this as a note card, make notes. It has little perforations. Is that showing up? Yeah. The other neat thing is that you can fold this in half and put this on top of like a cello bag with treats and just um, use your little stapler and you can just staple this to the top of, the, of a cello bag. And you can decorate this and then you can hide that staple right there. So that would be like on top of the bag. So that's a steel ruled die. The most popular dies that I that you're seeing on the market are going to be um, like the framelits, especially ones that um, match stamps. So, you know, obviously you're familiar with those. We have, um, you know, um, 
excuse me, we have framelits that match the stamp set. So I'm so you see a lot of manufacturers doing that. That's great because it completely takes away the fussy cutting. But um, to use the framelits, what you need to do is you have you have two choices. You'll you can use your platform that comes with the Big Shot, and here it gives you the directions on how to use the framelits. And there's these things called wafer thin dies. Stampin' Up carries those as well, and then it tells you how to use um, your embossing folders as well. So that's the nice thing is that it gives you all the directions. You just follow this, and you can't make a mistake. So, but to use the framelits, you would put it on platform with tab two, put your cutting plate there, put your paper here, and then with the cutting edge down, you would just place your paper on this. I gotta kind of position it this way. Now the thing with um, the metal framelits or the frame the metal framelits when you're using just the regular platform, I do recommend that you hold it down with some type of washi tape, post-it notes, things like that, because it can shift, especially once you put your top cutting plate on there, and then you would run it through. The thing that I recommend for these metal framelits is the mag magnetic platform that we carry. Um, it is worth every penny that it costs. I think it's like $39.95. But again, you just kind of use it the same way as the other cutting platform. So you would put your magnetic platform down, one cutting plate, Put your cardstock in there and then line this up. And when you do that, it's not moving, it's not going anywhere. I am able to move it and position it the right way. And then you just put your top cutting plate and then you just run it through your big shot. And it is uh, normal for the Big Shot to make popping noises. I know when you first get it, if you're unfamiliar with it, you're thinking that you're breaking it, but you're really not. Ah, I need to run that through again. It didn't, I must have not had my cut. So what I was gonna show is here, it didn't cut all the way through. So that tells me that I didn't have my cutting plates on there very well. So let me just reposition this and run it through again. And then I shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so I've repositioned the framelit back to where the paper meets. And this is my first time actually using this framelit on camera. So, so let's see, hopefully that worked. And I lined it up properly. I won't have to recut this paper. Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, so the nice thing about this is that it scores your paper for you and everything. Now, because I ran it through twice, the score the score lines are um, a little bit deeper than they should be, but it but it looks like it's it's okay. So that's what it's going to look like folded. And actually, I do need to make one of these for a. Um, for a gift for my daughter. So I made this a couple of weeks ago, so I thought I would just pop this on here. So, but that is um, the basics of the Big Shot. Um, I think it's a great value. I know we just had a promotion. I, um, for some of y'all, I wish y'all had known about it because it was a great promotion. I'm not sure if we'll be doing anything for the holidays, but, um, you know, if you have any questions about it, just um, let me know, comment below, email me. Y'all know how to get in touch. Go to my blog. Um, but uh, I, I actually think this is the nicest die, manual die cutting machine on the market. So, um, and Sizzix is of high quality. Stampin' Up! is of high quality. So, um, I don't think you can go wrong with either company. Thanks, ladies. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.